So some of you will have watched my video on the printer crash I had when first starting with my new 3D printer and 3D printing. You'll find a link to that video in the description below. Being new to 3D printing, as I still am today, I had no idea what was going on and resolved to hunt down the culprit. After watching other YouTubers and the problems they've had with corrupt G-code, I think I've figured it out. Right from day one, the micro SD card that came with the printer would be detected as faulty when inserting into Windows and Windows would ask if I'd like to repair the memory card. The card would still open and show me the contents of the memory card, so I figured all was okay. I did try and repair the memory card, but that process would take forever and then fail. So I kept using the memory card, figuring that if I could see the files, then everything must be okay. The first clue that everything was not okay was trying to save the files to the card from my slicing software Cura. Sometimes the save would fail, and when the save was successful, it took a lot longer than normal to write the file. Looking back, I should have seen this as a problem sooner. But being a micro SD card, I didn't have another card to swap with, and I just wanted to print. I also tried reformatting the card, but that would fail as well. The whole time the card remained usable though, with the contents visible in Windows. This fact kept lulling me into a false sense of security. So back to my failed print and crash. I now believe the G-code was indeed corrupt, and when the printer reached the corrupt portions of code, it would start behaving erratically, eventually causing the hot end to bury itself into the part many hours into the print. A new micro SD card has solved my problems and I've not had one failed print since. So if you're experiencing weirdness when printing, take a long hard look at your SD card. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.